Okay, turns out it's a quarter drive to do that with. And I, I found that quarter drive, so I've got that all set here to go ahead and try to remove that this side of the exhaust. <clears throat> That's going to come out of there no problem, looks like. just tight places all kind of hard to get in there with my fingers but I got it out anyway that's the hard one to get to on this side then there's one like it on the other side too so <laughs> and they're both this this one's on the outside it's easy to get to This side of the exhaust is off there. Now, like I say, I like to put those back where they belong, but right here I'm not going to be able to because the exhaust folds are in the way right now so I'm just going to put them up here I decided to bring a table over because I was getting leery about losing things <laughs> so I don't want to lose anything in this grass so I brought a table over here to help me out a little bit all together as soon as I get that motor off there I'll put them finger tight right back where they belong so I can keep track of them Okay, that's that. Those are off there and good to go. Now I can take this off. Let's see. I'm the right size one for that now. It's all Craftsman, so it should be American size parts, which it is. So far, it's all working out pretty good. No, no problem so far. Yeah. shield off of here. There. I'll put this right over here. And put these bolts right back where they belong. And now so that they don't get damaged, I'm going to take these pipes right out of here. And put them up here. Now I can take these bolts that hold the, the exhaust in place and finger tighten them right back where they belong. Maybe. <laughs> if I can hold on to the darn things. Everything's going 
okay so far. Might be a little bit of a, a deed to get the motor off though. Those, those front mounts or mounting bolts are a little tough to get to. But we'll see if what we can do about that. Maybe I can get it to them, no problem. All right, got those in there. Let's see if everything's good here. All right, everything's disconnected from the motor and the motor is ready to come off here. So, now I got four bolts to remove under here. Not sure what size they are, but I know they're gonna be, let's see, I'll see if I can guess by finger. Okay, feels like maybe that half inch? No, maybe, maybe, let's see, I'll take, uh, I have one that I can use an extension on, or maybe two, I can get underneath there good, and we'll go with, let's see, do I have a half inch in here somewhere? Where's my half inch? These I may have to go with the, the bigger one. See, that's what I think it is right there. Let me see if I got the right size. Alright, it's bigger than half inch, so. Bigger than half inch. Let's try five eighths. Smaller than five eighths. Which means nine sixteenths will do it. One. All right, now I don't think I have an extension for this, so what I'll have to do is use my my thing here, the reducer. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Do I have a? Do do do. Go find the 916. 3 drive. Huh. I'm gonna have a heart extension for that. But that don't work with that. Hmm. I hate not having the right size tools. But I do have where is it? 9 sixteenths right here. I have this one that I can use. I have this reducer right here. I can put it on there. Give me plenty of room to work under there. And this goes right on to my big half inch drive. for a setup. Alright, let's see if I can get them bolts off there now. See what I'm doing here. Woo! A gas line down in my face and everything. All kinds of stuff in the way. Of course. Let's see what I'm doing here. Woo! That one is wanting to be a drag to get to. What I'm going to have to do, it looks like, is take that belt off there. Or, I can move it a little out of the way, maybe. Let's see. That spring loose. No. Huh. Eight, 
top of this step was a tight one. It's called a knuckle buster. Hi yo, I did duck take a little skin off. Let's see. Move that out of the way again. Well that's a tough one to get to, man. I get it. I get it. I think I get it. <laughs> it keeps slipping off. It keeps slipping off there. It's trying to be a pain in my butt. It's coming. Slow but sure. Turn good here, so I'll go ahead and take four round turns. See if I can get that bad boy off there real quick. I would bring this whole tractor somewhere and let them work on it, but they would end up having to remove this all off here anyway to get the job done, and then they'd be charging me all that labor too. So, I think maybe it's better if I just do it. I think... I think I got that mouth there. up here so it doesn't get lost the other one on this side I might as well take these belts this belt off here anyway while I got this loose here if I can get this one off here there we go get that belt off there bolt and cut here take off oh, it's slipping there we go what you call having fun on a, on a Saturday morning. Jeez, there's so many dang things in the way. <laughs> That's what the main problem is, just so much stuff in the way. off there alright there's that one I got the other two on the other side to take off Yeah. There we go. Let's 
harder on this side because there's so much shit in the way. Jeez. It really wants to be a pain. Got a freaking stick in my way here. <laughs> Piece of weed that's trying to give me more problems than it's worth. take it out by hand pretty good but these things seem to want to be a, a drag we make a little progress at a time better than no progress stuff in the way here too. Well they don't make these things easy to work on, I'll tell you what. Can't see what I'm doing. Holy crap, that one was on there good.
This one's coming out a lot easier. for the motor mounts. If I'm not mistaken, and that should come right out of there. I do have to remove one more belt though. Slide it back a little bit. Give me some slack to play here. Go ahead and work this belt on out of there. do with it you know I forgot to, I got to drain the oil out of this thing too so when I turn it upside down it doesn't freaking uh, get full of oil so I got to drain the oil on this before I take it off all right so and that's that's gonna take a while and I'll just go ahead and shut the camera off until that's drained out. And uh, then we'll show you what to do with the rest of it.